go. Hexagonal pyramid, set whatever the length of the um, side lengths of the hexagon you want, and do your circle. And then pop it on the edge. And you can actually go like that if you want to. It's kind of a nice check that your compass is behaving itself, that when you go back to that point, it's actually the compass is still at the same distance apart as it was. That's just quite a nice way of doing it. So that's our base, our hexagonal base. We then measure the slant height, and because I don't want to go off the page, I'm just going to put a slant height there. So we get that intersection, and there, and there. And we just repeat that pattern. got all our constructions out of the way and now we just have to draw our six triangles so you can see that that there's one of the six that's the base of the second that's the base of the third the fourth the fifth and the sixth and Intersection, intersection, intersection. You can see it taking shape. And what you can do after this is cut it out and actually make the hexagonal pyramid. And what we can see here is that here we actually have six equilateral triangles. So that one there actually has to be 120 degrees. I'm not going to work that out because I don't actually know what height that is. But we know that it's 120. We know that that one is parallel to that one. So we've got parallel lines. And if we wanted to get um, any other angles, we could get our six equilateral triangles in the middle and I've actually got then a 60 degree angle there if I went right through there I've got a 90 degree angle there and that one there would be 30 and that one would be 30 and that would be 60 and that would be 60 so you can extend on it but they don't have to go that far.